Happy Friday. Good morning. I'm kind of trying to keep it quiet because Shane is asleep still. I'm going to work for a morning clinic. Um, we're going to do a quick outfit of the day because I pulled together another coastal grandmother look. <laughs> I just love it. This is what I pulled out of my closet. So I'm not wearing any makeup. I haven't put makeup on in, I don't, I don't know, three days. Just haven't wanted to. No, I don't want to wear any makeup. We have our red Timu lipstick that we decided to keep. So let's go ahead and, uh, well, we'll put that on in a minute. Let me show you the outfit. Um, I got my knot, gold knot earrings. Oof. I think I got them on Amazon. I don't remember, but they so reminded me of the 80s, and I've had them for a year or two, a couple years, but I don't wear them very often. And then just little, they're not diamonds, they're rhinestone studs. A little bit of lip gloss right now. Um, this top I got off Shane. I don't have the link because I got it a couple years ago. My white pants I got at a resale shop um, called Uptown Resale. And they are Gloria Vanderbilt jeans. I got them for $11. They were way too long. They're for tall. They were, they were way too long. So I watched a YouTube video on how to cut off your jeans and fray the, fray the bottoms. And so I just followed the video. And I cut them off. Like, I had to cut off like that much because I'm five foot three. And these pants were like... A five foot ten person so cut them off threw them in the washer and dryer loved how the hem the the bottoms came out um, anyway eleven dollars for those at a resale shop and shoes and socks are from Walmart so this is what we're rocking my um it's so it's cold outside today it's i think it's in the 40s or 50s right now and it's only going to get in like to be 65 today so that's why i'm and i have a white tank top on under too for an extra layer and this top i don't wear it very often because it's that polyester weird you know that you order off team mirror sheen it's not cotton. It looks cute and cottony, right? But it, and it's it's just kind of soft on the inside. But that's why I had to put that tank top for an extra layer in because it's not the softest on my skin. That's why you don't see me wear it very often. It's it's okay. It's not the most comfortable in the world. I didn't wash my hair this morning. I just <laughs> rolled out of bed and gave it one of these, and that's where we're at with my hair. So it's fine. Here's our team new red. I cannot see when I don't have a mirror, so wish me luck. <laughs> I can't see. Are we, is it on enough? It may not be going on very well because I got a little bit of lip balm on. Is it okay to wear no makeup and then red lipstick? I think it is. My grandma used to do it. That's where I got it from. I think she'd wear a little bit of powder, but I'm not trying to do all that. I'll have to find I'll have to find a picture of her. Um because we look a lot alike. I mean I look like my mama, but I look like my dad's mom, I think. Um she always rocked short hair. <laughs> Um, red lipstick, real fair skin. I didn't, I, she wasn't somebody that I just adored and admired, but she was, um, she was, she was good when I was a kid, you know? 
a lot of family drama on, on my dad's side of the family. That's all I'm going to say about that. But she was always a very beautiful woman, and um, she was very kind to me when I was a kid. She was loving. Um, anyway, there's a bird out on my bird feeder. Mom's bird feeder. Anywho, okay. Also, because it's chilly outside, I'm going to grab a scarf just to put around my neck because it's a long walk from my car to the to the inside of the building. Um, and this is just a scarf. And see, it's got yellow, mustard yellow flowers, and it's thin. So you bunch it all up together just to keep the breeze off, but still look springy. And it, that's just to keep the back of my neck warm so I don't, you know, get chilly. So we love that. Get out the door. We are out the door super early. <clears throat> it's only 7.30. You know why? Because I didn't have to take a shower and I didn't put any makeup on. That's why we're out the door so early. Um, but anyway, I've got... I ran into Walmart because I wanted to get um, an armor water. And some sweet tarts. Y'all know I gotta keep sweet tarts in my drawer in my desk. Well, I don't know if you knew that or not, but I do. I have been on a sweet tart kick for almost a year now. And once every two or three weeks, I'll go get a roll of sweet tarts. And I'm out of sweet tarts. Anyway, um, I ran into the Walmart neighborhood market. I wanted to go to Dollar Tree, but they don't open and till nine another hour and a half I gotta be at work in 20 minutes but work is just right over here I went upstairs last night at 6 30 6 6 30 um, to drink a cup of coffee no it was probably I don't know 6 6 30 I thought, I'm going to sit on my bed. I was tired. I was like, I'm going to sit on my bed, I'm going to drink a cup of coffee, and then I'm going to get up and, you know, clean my bedroom and my bathroom a little bit, wipe things, just do a few chores. Do you know I drank that cup of coffee and I went right to sleep? <laughs> right to sleep. So, um, I slept off and on from 6.30 last night until 5.20, 5.15 this morning. Wiped out, and I'm still tired this morning. I think it's because I've been doing the most lately. And the day before, it was it Sunday? I did that four miles on Sunday. And, uh... I don't know it's just been a week I've been tired this week like I put out a lot of energy and then the last two days I've just been yesterday I was tired and I was gonna go to hot works last night and I went to hot Works. I booked my class I went to hot works and I'm sitting there in the parking lot I'm about to get my yoga bag and my towel and all my things I had my gym bag but I didn't have my yoga mat I could have borrowed one of theirs but I was like you know what you're tired just go home so I had a cup of coffee and went to sleep instead. And this morning I'm still tired. So I don't know what's in the air. I don't know if I've just put out a lot of energy this last few weeks and I'm just, every once in a while I'll do that. I'll just slam into a wall and I need to rest. And so, anyway, whatever. Um, did I get off track or what? We're talking about sweet tarts and being tired and going to bed. I don't know what. I'm just trying to show you what I got at the Walmart neighborhood market. That's all I'm trying to show you. <laughs> okay, I got a blueberry pomegranate low calorie body armor light super drink. I like these. 15 calories. No fat. 12 carbs. They're good when you want something besides just water. 
Um, they didn't have the roll of sweet tarts, so I had to get the box of sweet tarts. And then I saw these other yummies. Listen, I wanted to see if these were as good as the eggs. They're not, but we're going to have one right now. My robin eggs. I'm still chewing on those. You know I bought a five pound bag. A robin egg is a whopper with a candy coating. But the candy coating on the robin egg is different than the candy coating on the whopper. The regular whopper. Love the Whoppers. Love them. But it's not a Robin Egg. But we still love them. I love Whoppers. It's my breakfast. And them. I don't ever eat gummy bears or gummy worms. I'm not into the gummy vibe. But these were $1.25 and I thought they would be good to just keep in my desk. You know. So there's a few little, a few little of those thingies. I hope the Whoppers don't go out. Um, on my way in, I was listening to Tiff Shuttlesworth. God, do I love him? He is one of my favorite preachers. I just... I love him. I love how he teaches. He keeps it simple. He goes in detail. He prays before every sermon. He's like, get out your Bible. Get out your highlighter, your pen. I always encourage you to take notes. Uh, he, he teaches like, uh, like you're a student, you know, and it's just like, but he'll get excited too. He'll, he'll get to hollering because I think he's Pentecostal and um, I, I used to go to Pentecostal church and um, he, he'll go Pentecostal on you and I mean that with love <laughs> you know what I'm talking about Susanna Marsha anyway um, love Tiff Shuttlesworth please don't anybody get offended by that please don't <laughs> I, can't, I can't with all that um, but anyway I used to go to Pentecostal, Holiness Pentecostal Church called Hail Station. So, there's that. But anyway, um, just love love him. I was listening to him on the way in, um, and he's talking about um, good angels and bad angels. So, I'm going to listen to the, some of that. Um on my way into work and I do I do want to I listen to him in my um, podcast at night um, sometimes when I'm going to sleep I'll put my earbud in and listen to Tiff and then I'll wake up he'll he'll be teaching in real calm and uh, he'll go through a calm podcast and then it'll roll into another one and I'll wake up to him getting all excited about something at three o'clock in the morning oh Tiff will be on he'll be on a excited on uh, preaching and start to hollering. I'll be like, okay, Tiff, I'm going to have to take my earbuds out now and go to sleep. But anyway, um, what else? Oh, I know what I was going to tell you guys. I know. Um, today marks the 29th anniversary um, of the Oklahoma City bombing. Um, today, 29 years ago, Timothy McVeigh pulled up in a van shot off a bomb and, and killed a lot of people. I remember that day. I remember um, Alex with, ooh, it makes me want to cry. I rem It touches close to home because, well, I'm, you know, I'm from Tulsa and Oklahoma City is right down the road and um, an hour down the road. So, I remember it was just me and Alex. I was a single mom and Alex was a year old. Ooh, I'm gonna cry. And me and Alex were sitting on the floor reading books and playing with toys and reading Barney books and they were going over footage and Alex was a year old. He just learned to walk and we were just having a good time and 
I was watching it on the news. It was like the next day. Just sitting on the floor surrounded by toys and books and Alex. And, you know, there was a daycare inside of there. And they were doing a story on a mom who had two little boys that were Alex's age. And, you know, back then it was just me and Alex. And he was still in diapers. I was a single mom. Um, I have a whole life you guys don't even know about. I've been married three times. I don't know that I ever told y'all that. But anyway, um, they were doing a story on a woman who had two little boys. One was Alex's age and another one was like a year old. One was one and one was two. They were real close in age. And they showed pictures of these two little boys that went to that daycare in in the Federal Murrah building, Murrah Federal building. And they were chubby, blonde, little angels that looked just like my Alex. And I sat on the floor and that mom lost both her babies that day. She dropped her kids off at that daycare and went to work. The daycare in that building. And it just crushed my soul. Like, for everybody, I gotta drive. For everybody who died that day and their families and the mamas and the daddies. And, but my heart went out to her so hard because I was sitting there in the floor playing with my Alex and just the day before she lost both her baby boys. Oh, it tore me up and broke my head. Still to this day breaks my heart for her. Those boys would be 30 and 31 years old. You know, Alex is 29 now. Oh, it's soul crushing. But today marks um, 29 years of the bombing. Also, it is the, this is Saturday. What are you doing? This is the 25th anniversary of the, the Columbine school shooting. So my heart goes out to all of them also, but my heart breaks for the mom of the shooter. Oh, my heart breaks for her. You know, I've read her book and I've shared it with you guys. I've read her book. I need to read it again, but oh, it's heavy. To be the mom, to be the mom of a child who just goes and shoots up a school has to be just as bad, if not worse, than being the mom of a child who was killed. I can't even. Anyway, I didn't mean to get sad on you guys, but that's what today is. Mm, the 25th anniversary of Columbine and the 29th anniversary of the Oklahoma City bombing. Ugh. Anyway, okay. Still got to pray for those families and... You know, it's like the Twin Towers in New York City. Mm. Oh, and uh, I heard on the news this morning, Israel sim was bombing Iran. I need to turn off the news. You know, I never listen to the news because of this right here. This is why I don't watch the news or listen to the news. I just don't. I can't. I'm glad I turned it on this morning because we need to know what's going on in Israel and then the reminder of the, um, the school shooting and the bombing. You know, we don't ever want to forget those. Um, just like Twin Towers, we don't ever want to forget 9-11, but um, this is why I don't. I check. I don't watch the weather. I, I, I'll check the weather so I'll know what to wear on my phone and if we are having storm season, tornado season. Um, Shane keeps me posted or I'll watch the radar on my phone. I don't turn on the news, but this morning I turned on 102.3.
which is actually um, a radio station that's in the same building that I work in. Um, there's like three radio stations I listen to, <laughs> and they're all in the same building I work in. But I'm on the 12th floor. They're up like on the freaking, I don't know, 50-something floor, 52nd floor, something like that. Anyway, it's a tall building I work in. So... Uh, yeah, I just happened to turn on the news this morning, 1023, and um, I heard all that. So, I thought I better get on here and share it with you guys. I didn't mean to cry. I didn't mean to cry, but um, anyway, that's my morning. <laughs> I'm glad I get off of work at noon today. I don't know what Shane's going to go. I don't know if I told you guys, but Dalton... got in a wreck on 169 the other day. He's okay, but he totaled his truck. It was his fault. He rear-ended somebody. But, you know, on the highway, it's hard to, you know, when somebody slows down or stops on the highway and you've got to, it happens. So, everybody was okay. Both cars were totaled, but everybody walked away. No scratch. Um, yesterday, Shane and Dalton went down and found Dalton another car. So, he got him a little Dodge Nitro, I think. Um, from the same car lot that Shane bought his truck. Shane's got a buddy that has a car lot and Shane's bought like two or three cars from him So he just took Dalton down there and got him a good used um, Car and Dalton will make his payments and then uh, Dalton's looking to get an apartment with his buddies and uh, Do the whole adult thing, you know, it's time the child's 21 years old so um, Him and Shane are probably gonna go and the buddies are going to go look at apartments today. So they're going to go run around. Shane probably won't be home until like 3. <clears throat> so I don't know what we're going to do. I know we're going to go up in here and have a good day and dry our tears. Because God is good. All the time he is good. There we are. We're going to go to the, the highest room in the tallest tower. Just kidding. We're just going to the 12th floor. Okay, it's about 1.15, and I'm not feeling this at all because I didn't tell y'all already. I'm tired. <laughs> but we're here at the Hot Works, and the hot yoga classes were already full up, and I've been doing hot Pilates. I don't want to do hot buns and hot core, so I'm going to do hot stretch, which is almost like hot yoga, and then we're going to do some weights. So I decided to start incorporating weights into my workout. I've never really, I've done weights a little bit here and there, but with all my researching, I'm learning that uh, as a 50-year-old woman, uh, lifting weights is... Um, is top of the list and it needs to happen so um, there's a video in there that you can follow and do the weights with their video but I found a girl on YouTube that um, I really like so I'll just turn on her little channel I'll get in my little corner and get some eight pound weights and do her 30 minute weight thing after I do my 30 minute stretch so I was real tempted to just uh, go upstairs and take a nap, but um, I'm not. We're gonna overcome and we're gonna go in here and, and knock this workout out because I ate a big fat bowl of Raisin Bran and 250 calories work, worth of 2% milk. <laughs> so you wanna talk about a carb fest. We gotta go work that off. We can't, we can't be carrying that around. All right, let's go do this. I'm done. I did it. I didn't want to do it, but I did it. <laughs> Let's go home and see what's going on. It's 2.45. I wonder if Shane's going to want to go run around. He's been running around all day. I'm going to take a rest and shower, and we'll see. We'll see what we're doing, if we're doing anything. Okay. I'm home. I am showered. I'm in my sweats and a tank top. And uh, Shane should be home shortly. I'm drinking a cup of coffee at 4 o'clock. Anyway, 
I think that's I think that's it. We're not going anywhere or doing anything. Um, so I got nothing else, so I'm just gonna wrap this up. Um, yep, that's it. Sorry, I got emotional this morning, but you know it happens. It happens. Um, anyway, okay. Prayers for families from Columbine and. Oklahoma City and 9-11, big prayers going up for Israel. It's God's country. It's God's country, y'all. Okay, I'm going to relax for the rest of the night. We're supposed to get up. We're supposed to get up and be at the Tulsa Flea Market at 745 in the morning. Shane's got to go picking for records and things for his booth. So, um, his little, him and Kelly's little booth is rocking and rolling. They are, the vinyl is flying off the shelves, flying, and he's having a hard time keeping it stocked. So, we gotta go, we gotta go get more, more vinyl. And the Tulsa Flea Market's a, a great place to go. So, we'll probably be out running the streets tomorrow, and I'm sure, I'm sure you guys will probably come with us. Okay, I love you. The Lord loves you more, and we will see you in the next video.